Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GameTube, and welcome back to our Poppy Playtime character concept series. So the character we've created for today's video is called Caring Capybara. So we'll go into this character's backstory, gameplay mechanics and all that good stuff. But before we do any of that, do be sure to leave a like and subscribe as it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you updated with all the videos that we post. Also, as always, I will just mention that the story we're about to tell isn't linked to the overall universe and lore of Poppy Playtime. This isn't definitive of what will happen in Chapter 4, this is just a fun story we get to tell and we hope you enjoy. Alrighty, well with that all out of the way, let's get into the character concept of Caring Capybara. So, previously in our Poppy Playtime character concept series, we've been following our main protagonists as they make their way through Critterland. This is another section of the Playtime Cove factory that was designed to be a safe place for all the smiling critters. But just like everywhere else in the factory, nowhere is safe for the player. The dangerous inhabitants of Critterland they've met so far have been Manic Monkey, Tireless Tiger, and Switchy Sloth. Each of these toy characters have had it out for the player, and every chance they can get, they try to take him out for good. But in our last video, we had a character that was quite conflicted. Switchy Sloth was made up of two halves that were sewn together. One half was evil and the other half was good, but he wasn't always like this. After he suffered a near-fatal accident, a mysterious character was there to patch him up. They sewed his two halves back together and nursed him back to full health. But who is this mysterious character? It was never revealed who exactly helped Switchy Sloth. But now the answer to that question will be revealed. So this mysterious critter is known as Caring Capybara. This helpful and caring critter is quite special indeed. Her specific role in the factory is to repair and patch up any of the injured or damaged toys. She would go around from area to area and care for whoever needed her. Her main specialty was using her special knitting needle hand to mend other toys' ripped and tattered fabric. With a whole bunch of soft and cuddly toys inside a harsh and dangerous factory, they were all sure to get some rips and tears on their body. And every time that happened, Caring Capybara was there to help. She cared so much about her job that she modified her own hand into knitting needles. This way she could quickly patch up anyone who needed her help. Throughout all this time, she's cared for a whole bunch of injured toys. From a number of her smiling critter friends to Huggy and Kissy. She's even fixed Poppy's dress a couple of times in the past. But as quick and speedy as Karen Capybara was, she didn't always make it on time. It seems that when some of the toys have met their untimely demise, another sinister force got to them first. Also, she was only one critter. And as much as she wanted to help everyone at all times, it just wasn't possible. Caring Capybara. If someone needs care, she'll be there. She'll always make everyone feel better. If a heart needs mending, she'll be attending. It's only fair to spread a little care. Sent cookies. So now she resides in Critterland. She spends most of her time patching up the other toys who live here. And soon enough, she'd meet the player and help them on their journey. Speaking of, we now return to the player. They still haven't made it out of Critterland, and they're a little on edge about what dangerous critter they'll meet next. As they make their way forward, it looks like the next creepy critter was soon to be revealed. They can see, poking around a corner, a sharp and pointy hand. They can only imagine who or what it belongs to. It was probably a terrible toy creature that would rip them to shreds. But as the player got closer, that wasn't the case at all. In front of them was the happy and cheerful caring capybara. She seemed quite pleased to see the player, and likewise they were relieved to see her. It turns out that this little capybara critter wasn't hostile at all. In fact, she wanted to help the player. Caring capybara hasn't seen someone like the player in a long time. Ever since the Hour of Joy, there hasn't been a worker left alive at the factory. She always liked the workers. They were kind to her, and in turn she was kind to them. So seeing the player standing in front of her brings back all those happy memories, and that's the reason she decides to help them. So she sets off and leads the player to the closest exit out of this area. It seems that this was a particular area of Critterland where Karen Capybara did most of her work. It was also where she brought Switchy Sloth when he was torn in two. She's cared for many injured critters in the past, and many of them were cared for in this area. When a toy was injured, she would always arrive on time as quickly as she could, and the way she did this was by a series of secret conveyor belts. She would hop on and zoom to many different areas of the factory, and the specific conveyor belt she used would zoom quickly out of Critterland. It would most likely take the player to where they need to be in no time at all, but when they get there, there's only one small problem. 
it seems that the conveyor belt has been torn to shreds. Without a moving track, the doors won't open. Karen Capybara can sew up the damaged belt, but first she needs some extra material. So it's up to the player to set out and try and collect any pieces of material they can find. Anything will do, it just needs to be a material that can be sewn together. So anything like clothing, rags or bed sheets. But in Critterland there wasn't many items of clothing or sheets. Not too many humans were ever in this area to begin with, but still the player needs to keep searching around. After searching and searching they finally see something that can work. Up top on the ceiling was a large Critterland flag that would be perfect to repair the conveyor belt. All they need to do is find a way up there and grab it. So the player starts jumping up from platform to platform. They need to be careful not to fall or else they wouldn't survive from a drop this high. Eventually after carefully platforming they make it to the flag. They grab it and head back to Karen Capybara. When they do, the flag was the perfect material to fix the belt. She got to work sewing everything back together and before they knew it the conveyor belt was repaired. Finally they could activate it and the player would be on their way. But Karen Capybara couldn't go with the player. She needs to stay here and help her fellow critters in case they ever get injured. But she was sure they'd meet again somewhere along the way. But for now, they would need to go their separate ways. So the player switches it on and away they go. The conveyor belt starts moving and now they just need to sit back and wait. Soon they'll be transported out of here and they'll be on their way to meet back up with Poppy. Hopefully she was okay and they could complete their mission in confronting the prototype. But just how far Poppy is further ahead than the player is uncertain, and the player is going to have to quickly catch up with her and keep her safe. So I think that Karen Capybara would be another great addition to our roster of Forgotten Critters. It's always great to see another friendly character help out the player, and this critter in particular was very helpful indeed. I think the idea of her being a seamstress slash healer for all the other toys in the factory is pretty interesting as well. Also the fact that she has helped some of the main characters is pretty cool as well. But the sad reality is that not all the other characters in this factory are as friendly as Karen Capybara. And as to if the next character will be just as friendly is unknown. And until then we'll just have to wait and see. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting and subscribing, it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of Karen Capybara and what you'd like to see going forward. As always, thank you all for watching and a even bigger thank you to our GamerTube members who help support the channel. If you'd like to be a GamerTube member then do be sure to click the join button or the link down below in our description. You get a bunch of cool stuff like custom emojis and you also get your name shown at the start of our character concept videos. But you don't need to be a member to enjoy our content, it's just if you'd like to and it's greatly appreciated. Alrighty well into our next Puppy Playtime character concept video, I'll catch you later, bye.